Welcome back. It is fall camp and we got our biggest risers from week one of fall camp for Colorado. There's some surprises on there. Uh, shoot for us too. So yeah, y'all gonna like like what we got on this. Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us cause we bump and grind. Well, hello, who's next? Are you kept and talking so to do your words, match your video? Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us cause we bump and grind. Yo, what it do, world? Buffed and prime, we back. CT the fan, T Cal. Man, how's it going, bro? How you feeling? Good, man. Just want to check out these the the top risers from fall camp it's been it's been surprising and obviously this is off of what we can see right. uh, i'm sure there's a lot of people balling that we have zero idea about so let me just make that clear but from what we've seen these are who we have as our top risers um, from week one and number one we got terrell timmons jr um man it would be good to drop his his breakdown yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It would be great to drop his breakdown. But, yeah, we got Terrell Timmons Jr., um, wide receiver. He transferred from North Carolina State. and I believe he's cousins with Keenan Allen. Uh, he played played 12 games, but he didn't get a lot of balls thrown his way. Um, played as a true freshman, uh, caught a touchdown, all state and track, 200-meter high school. Okay, 6'2", 195. That's, that's dope. That's dope. So, yeah, he didn't – he, he he didn't get a ton of love at North Carolina State, but he's coming in here. Uh, is he a sophomore or? I oh, know he's a junior. He's a junior. He's coming okay. in. Uh, yeah, he's coming in as a junior. Well, that's what they got listed on the Colorado website. He's coming in as a junior. Got you, got you. So yeah, I mean, talk about what what, what we've seen, man. He's he's been making catches. Man, the th the three catches, catches. Uh, that I see that I seen when you Google them, there's some three catches gonna come up particularly. They're all highlight catches. Mm -hmm. Uh you just when you see that kind of talent. Like, like it's, I mean, it, it just pops off on the screen. You're like, mm -hmm. man, I don't know what's going on or what was going on over there, but I'm happy he's in Boulder. And I think mm -hmm. his upside is like limitless. I think when you, cause when you stay, you take someone with this kind of talent and you pair him with a Shadur, mm -hmm. like, and then you pair him and then you put him on the field with, you know, you got Travis, you got, you know, you got so many other distractions. Yeah, you know that gives him the opportunity to say, "Hey, man, I, I can, I, I can take do the it. reins. I can mm -hmm. take the reins. I, y'all want to do a double uh, wheel, double Travis, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I, hey, like he's got real talent. Like <laughs> it's, it's different. So I was yeah, excited. So I'm, I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm not as like high mm -hmm. as of now, just because I haven't seen enough. You know, we we get to see these catches. We did watch his break. We went and did his breakdown. There just wasn't enough for me to make a, you know, true opinion anyway. But uh, from what we've seen, when we saw him in the one on ones, I kept saying, I said, who is that? I said, he's super twitchy. He's super quick twitchy. <laughs> so excited to see more of him. Uh, but yeah, he's been the one that's been jumping off of the film that we get to see from Well Off Media, Reach the People Media, the pregame show. So definitely excited. Uh, and we talked about it all all off season that you don't know who is going to emerge and pop out at even a starter. You know, there's, Actually. there's, there's a lot of moving pieces. So he's, he's the probably the top riser. Then we got uh, Trevor Woods, who it, it's kind of hard to even have him as a riser. Mm. Um, he's mainly a riser because of how the fan base has viewed him. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I don't think inside that building, I think he's doing what they expect from him. Right. I think he's now we, we seem to get a bunch of picks. I think he already two days has been named player yep. of the day. Now three picks. That two tells days. me that tells me he's been making plays <laughs> or been practicing overall good. Cause I'd say it all the time. You know, you can see people getting interceptions and that doesn't mean nothing. Like they can right. get an interception and be getting beat in every other, you know play you know not getting to their gaps not doing the right things but with him uh to get player of the day that means that not just the interceptions but you've been consistently good at what you do and i'm i'm, I'm not ashamed to say i was the first person to to, to say trevor can be an elite linebacker because <laughs> they were looking at me crazy <laughs> so was i Everybody. i was like what what Everybody. are you talking about and man and, and, and the colorado fan base uh they they want to come at us for certain things but 
people had no problem hating on Trevor Woods this entire offseason. Now everybody's singing his praises. So I'm excited for him. I want him to be great. I want him to ball. I think he's a hell of a player. Um, so, yeah, he's he's definitely rising up the chart. And he he's putting himself in a position like, how are you going to keep him off the field if he continues to stack days together like we've seen? Man, I, I agree. I, Trevor, man, he's uh, – when you look at those stats, you know, he played nine games last year. He missed three games. Still had 56 total tackles. You know, mm-hmm. that's under clutch interceptions. Like, yeah. when you're a gamer, but it's different because now you see – like, well, I, for me, you know, you see him doing it on the practice field, showing up for mm-hmm. six. Mr. Green Dot, that's – you know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I, yeah. I, yeah. We, we, we had just talked about that on Patreon. Um we, we've been talking all offseason about who's going to get the green dot in the private community chat. And then somebody mentioned on a YouTube that uh, they think, and I, I wouldn't be surprised for that. I'm, he might be a guy that never comes off the field um, and definitely make sure that y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. I thought something just bit me, man. <laughs> Watch out. But uh, definitely make sure that y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel mm. to get the, just everything. We got the film breakdowns, talking ball, and knowing that it's coming from a real ball perspective. Right. If you ever hear somebody say that we don't know what we're talking about, just tag me in it, and, I, and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll come handle the issue. Um, Patreon, that's where you get exclusive access. Patreon gets this video first. They get everything first. That's where we have the private chats, the private live watch parties, everything that you can imagine, um, which we just posted the first private live watch party, which was awesome. Oof. And there, there's a lot more stuff that's coming during the season that I've said it a few times and just know it's <laughs> we're, we're, we're 350 plus in there. And ask the Patreon members how they enjoy it in there. Facts. But then we got this. Braden Keith. Bro, knew nothing about him. Knew nothing Not about thing. him. All we know was who's number 30. <laughs> and, and what have you um, what information did you get on him? So, yeah, look, you know, what I'm saying he had no game action last year. He redshirted 2022. So he redshirted his freshman year. He played no games in 2023. His high school stats in 22 games, he had 28 total tackles, six interceptions. That's all I could find about Mr. Braden Keith. And 68 total tackles. 68 total tackles. Yeah, and six, six interceptions. In high mm-hmm. Okay. Where, where is he? I feel like he's from Colorado. Yeah, he's from Colorado. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, 5'10", 175. He's a walk-on, right? Yes, a walk-on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and he's like... And he's been I, around. I he stayed. The clip. He's mm-hmm. one of the people when Prime showed up with the Louis, he stayed. Mm-hmm. Awesome. As a matter of fact, uh, let me let, let me go find that clip. I'm, I'm going to go find that clip. Hey, that's pretty. Hey, I don't know who he is, but I like his technique. I like his technique. Yeah. Well, that's two touchdowns on him, though. <laughs> hey, I don't. I promise you, I don't care about that. I do. I do not. <laughs> Like, I could not care less. This is good technique. Now, Will's taller and longer, so he's able to get a push up. That's a hell of a rep. That is a hell of a rep. Hey, Shepard already looking different. Hey, I like this. That's good coverage. Hand fighting with him. Ah, that's good coverage. I like that. Braden Keith, uh, walk on. Braden Keith is, 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 uh, Solid. So that is the impact that I saw just from one-on-ones. I said, I have to see who that is. Now we've been able to get to the actual, you know, where they're actually playing pads on and practice. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing more of the same, if not better. So he's definitely impressed me. Uh, I really like his technique. I like the way he plays. It looks like in every rep, he's always in great position. And he's been making breakups left and right. I said back then, like you, you was laughing. You was like, "Hey, but I've seen two touchdowns on him." I told you, I don't care about that. It's the, I don't care about the end result when it comes to one on ones. Mm-hmm. I want to see how you get there. I love his feet. I love his technique as far as staying next to the receiver, squeezing the receiver, and it's just a finish. I can teach you how to become a better finisher. I can't teach you, or I can, but it's way harder to teach you. Hey, how to stay square and press? How to not get beat at the line of scrimmage? How to catch up to the receiver? How to not you know, like that's I like him, man. I like him. I said it then. Then the film's been confirming uh, my initial thoughts. I love it. Another one we got. Basically the same thing. Another walk on. I've been seeing him play and I'm like, hey, he, he can play. 
Like he can play. I don't know. These are two <laughs> legit coverage DBs that are walk-ons. Like that's crazy. That so I'm, crazy. I'm very, I'm very impressed by their play. Um, I'm impressed by. I'm assuming the coaching staff has helped develop them. I'm assume, um, impressed by the development. Uh, I think, I think these guys can ball, man. I think these guys can ball. And another one, uh, Isaiah Harge. He, I was impressed by him. I didn't even know who he was until the spring game when he was forced <laughs> to go on that running back. And he looked like an actual running back. The cuts yeah. he was making, like he's, you can yeah. tell he played, uh, played offense. You got here. Um, he had 380 yards, four touchdowns returning mm-hmm. in in high school. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Senior year, mm-hmm. he converted yeah, from awesome. wide receiver to cornerback when he got to uh, Colorado. Yep. And like we talked about when we watched the North Dakota uh, State scout with uh, Rajah Nelson, mm-hmm. it's hard for wide receivers to actually look like running back. Like he looked Rah- like a running back when yeah. he saw him in the spring game. Yeah, and then. <laughs> And they're like, yeah. And Coach Prime was like, yeah, but he's an athlete. You know, he's we got him on the defensive side of the ball. I was like, I ain't heard of him because you know <laughs> we only have access to so much. And then we right. see him making play. He's guarding Lejante Wester and looking good doing it. So um, he's another one that has jumped off the tape to us. That's that iron sharpening that iron. And what is crazy is, and why I think people are sleeping on what Prime doing here. Is these guys are sophomores and freshmen. Like mm. this team is going to be. <laughs> You know, like yeah. he's building it. So all that talk, oh, prime's gonna no. I mean, look how like just pay attention and he's getting talent, man. So I like. I, th- I think all the guys uh, that we've covered uh, the the past two plus, I think they forced their way on the field this season. Like, I really expect them to yeah. force their way uh, on the field. I should tell you the type of dog they are because there's some real talent out there on that mm-hmm. field. Definitely. And for them to, and when we say force, go watch the well off. These guys are going up against like the T. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the top. Like, yeah, Dante's, these aren't. They're not going Will against four stringers. They're not going against uh, mm-hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? The talent. Yeah, like like that clip I showed uh, in the flashback. That's against a 21 touchdown receiver from the SEC. That's a walk on right in his hip pocket. Yeah, the, yeah, these guys can play. And then man, we we've been high on Jalen Wester from the start, man. Uh, Lejante <laughs> Wester's little brother. Um, from what it sounds like that he's making an impact and rising amongst the coaches. And like, we saw that huge hit he had on Charlie offered off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Triggering through the, that was beautiful. Um, but again, we can't see everything going on, but from what we've been able to see, it looks like Jalen is moving up the list. So really excited and to see. That. I'm glad we decided to put him on here because that last video we saw when he says, no, cause you'd be saying that don't take the bait. Don't take mm-hmm. that drag route. Like hide you know? alone. Right. And he was explaining. And you're like, oh, this, this, mm-hmm. yeah, this, this guy got high IQ. And the, the communication, I'm like, yeah, this, yeah, Jalen Wester, man, for sure. And speaking back to that, as a coach, that's the answer you want when you ask a player what happened. You get some players that could be in the right position, but they don't even know why they're in the right <laughs> position. So being able to hear him explain, that's showing you his IQ, showing you where his mindset is. Mm-hmm. And allowing you to see how he thinks. And as a coach, I know you have to love that, knowing that right. your players think the way you think and understand and see the game the way you see it. It's lovely. So, yeah, man, that's that, that's what we got for our fall camp risers. Make sure y'all comment below, whoever y'all got. Um, you know, it, it, it changes, but that's Buffton yes. Prime's biggest risers from week one of fall camp. They're still, what, we got three weeks till game one, which means, shoot, there's, there's two weeks of fall camp left. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah probably two and a half true weeks of of fall camp left but we're getting to see these guys go go get it early so it's very exciting make sure you like share comment subscribe uh love the support that everybody's been giving us youtube we've been going live more y'all made ct quit so now we can be more <laughs> active with y'all and it's just about to turn up up for the all football season. the way up <laughs> and then uh follow us on patreon and we, we're 350 plus in there we got awesome fan base we got private chats uh private live watch parties for the colorado games you get access to the breakdowns in all every video before everybody else you get exclusive content that's never going to be put out there um some super exclusive content coming this season and <laughs> super 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 exclusive. super 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 um, like super duper <laughs> yeah and then we got the you know we got players that have been coming on colton hoods in there d'angelo ponds top five cornerback and college football came on our show and we did a breakdown with him live so yeah there's a ton of and then the private lives with your best friend super bowl winning mm-hmm. defensive tackle for yeah. my eagles 
Coach Q, salute. Yeah, that yeah, was man. a private live in there as well. That's now on YouTube, so go check that out as well with Nikhil Webwalker. But yeah, we we appreciate y'all. Appreciate the support. We will be back very soon. We promise. And CT, what you what you gotta tell them? Okay, to evolve. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Do your words match your video? Yeah, this for my boy TKL. Uh, CT the fan. Yeah, we on that buff train, man.